Hi there, welcome to another edition of the LLM Diaries. This is episode 5 of the Gloucester City Diaries and I'm back on Bustinet. Here we are uh, with an FM17 safe and I wanted to do a LLM safe just to see how things go and yes, I've put myself in a really nice position at the top of the table. Check this out, six points clear. Yeah, <laughs> so we're having fun. Maybe my math is off. It's eight points clear. <laughs> so we are doing quite okay. Um, and now we face FC United of Manchester. So cool. I love these names. And uh, when I look at my team, yeah, we are training. As I said in the last video, I don't really care <laughs> about their training. I'm not that I don't care. But I just leave it on balance. Uh, the whole team is on balance training. So you can see this big blue thing here. And that's what I'm gonna be focusing on. And guess what? We have uh, I have tried to stick in a, a four two three one, the one I did with Arsenal. I just made a few small changes to the one I used with Arsenal, just minor changes to the system. And we are gonna try and see whether these boys can play a four two three one. First up, let's go to the ass man and see what the ass man suggests I use in midfield. So I'm going through my team, deciding who should be playing this match. And uh, I haven't played this in a while. Okay, at the back, I need Mr. Speedy back. Okay, I got Webb, I got Williams, I got the same Avery. So that's basically the team. And okay, so we have decided, all right, we've asked the ass man to make a decision on who he should be playing. And the ass man came back with some recommendations for me. And I've kind of like, you know, tossed it out of the window. I've gone with uh, little Isaacs here, he's a youngster. Uh, he, he can only play as an MC, so I've actually asked him to retrain as an EMC as well. So hopefully you know, that works out for us. Well, this show goes out to all my patrons, uh, patrons uh, who have supported this channel. And yes, you guys asked me to do an LLM series of videos. So I decided why don't we do a bit of an experiment too, eh? Let's do a 4 2 3 one see how they do. So it'll be fun. I mean, I'm, no, I'm under no illusions that they're going to win. That's for sure. They might lose. So... I am prepared to make certain changes to the system because of that belief that I think they're going to lose, right? Um, the system that I used with Arsenal, basically, was uh, with an inverted wing back, right? Because I want to flood the midfield. Now, the problem with uh, playing with an inverted wing back is decision making is going to be important. He's got Rome instructions and all, a lot of funny, funny things there. And I don't think I want him to do that. So I just want him to play as a simple fullback. Keep it simple, boy do anything fantastic so just yep that's his joke that's his role he's just gonna keep things simple nothing too elaborate now at the back okay we it's our first game so let's you know let's just take it easy let's not try something too elaborate so they're both gonna have cross on deep they're not gonna attack the bylines they're gonna stay well back and for bank i'm basically gonna have two banks here so if this this system is one bank, two bank, three bank, four banks, right? So I'm gonna have four bank, uh, ideally two banks defending. Now what about the guys up top? We got plenty of talent up top. We've got Kotwika, uh, and he's playing as an attacking playmaker. Now one of the things about an attacking playmaker is he's got triple more as an instruction. Now let's look at Kotwika. He's dribbling his ten, which is okay, not bad for the league, uh, but average he's not the best so his composure is six okay that says a lot to me balance is six so he might be able to dribble in a straight line but i don't think he can dribble around players so we are not going to ask him to do any exquisite dribbling if he if he has got space to attack then maybe but we're gonna tell him to you know dribble less and let's see where that takes us because uh i think that i'd rather be safe than sorry my first game so here we come here and then we'll tell him to dribble less. So that takes care of that. So we've got this group and we've got Hanks. I'll just, you know, he'll do his thing. Uh, I want him to do his thing anyway. So we've got Berkeley up top. We've got Malcolm on the right. Malcolm as well. He's going to have to dribble more. I mean, we have at least got to have the one person attacking some channel. And uh, I've got this on attack. So maybe I'll tell Malcolm to attack the flanks and get him on an attack duty. Now, the reason why I'm getting Malcolm to do that is because I think he has, okay, he's decent acceleration. He can get into the box. So, yeah, we'll get him to attack the flank since uh, we have a defender here, defend duty here. So, then we have a defense structured and 
um, I will tell them to play with slightly higher D-line and offside trap or uh, yeah slightly higher defense Start up. no I don't want that to happen yeah I want that to happen so I'm so confused right now higher defensive line we save pass into space and roam from position okay that's the instruction they're going to be playing with a low risk strategy so yeah so this is the plan going into this match and hopefully this plan works so here we are um, well it seems like it's a good thing I decided to hold those two fullbacks back Okito, Damon, Odero, Thomas uh, we've placed with three strikers here and we're going to have three in midfield Only that's the thing now you know I'm thinking to myself maybe I should leave Okito and tell him to come to midfield as an inverted wing back we'll see how it goes I think Okito may have the ability to do that actually as an inverted wing back that's my only concern is yeah will he I might want to have those extra numbers in midfield after all shocks I'll, okay we'll, we'll see how it goes in the first couple of minutes so yeah, okay I'm so undecided it, I have to see how this match plays out okay we're gonna watch it on comprehensive at the start to see how this match uh, pans out and then we make a decision accordingly all right defensive we've been on a good run uh, shouts have all been set up okay all right oh uh, wait I see something I don't like higher tempo okay we're gonna take that off these are boys after all playing a man's game Ashworth to call saw whatever that however you pronounce it grieves the long bottom uh, runs into traffic but they seem to be doing okay no that's it we're changing it all right the moment I saw that he's going to be an inverted wing back okay we need some extra numbers there okay I was sure it was blocked, but um, it was too easy for them to transition um, from their midfield to attack. There was like no opposition in that area of the pitch. The other option I have is, of course, to play with a higher mentality and also push it up, push my D line up. But I don't want to do that. Berkeley, Berkeley with the ball. Can he hold it up? No, he can't. Korash did a fantastic job. That's it. No, never long. Uh, that's, I thought his name was Never Long Bottom. I don't think it is. I don't think he's from Hogwarts. Hall with the ball. Oh no. Ah yes, I've chosen Hall for this team. Malcolm. Mal oh, penalty. Come on, ref. Oh, it's a corner. It's okay. All right, we survived the opening salvo from FC United and they're playing standard or control. Uh, Joe Hanks with the corner. Tonga clears it to Mr. Longbottom. Now, how do I know it's standard or control? 4 3 3 narrow doesn't say anything else. So it's got to be the standard of control. If it was defensive or attacking, then the words would appear. Uh, Brown tries to control the ball. Khan Charter is back and they cross the ball into no space. Thank you very much. All right, boys all came back. So there is a possibility I can push this up to counter now. Okay. Just bracing with the ball. Gets it to Kodwika. Thompson again. Kodwika picks that up. Gets it, yeah, gets it, Okito, Okito, now it's going to be under a lot of pressure, gets it to Damon, 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 plays it back to Jess Wilson, two, okay. I, my heart is in my mouth when he did that, because I was thinking to myself, will, uh, will he not be able to control the ball? And Joe Hanks, the captain, actually failed. The last player on the pitch, I expected to see miscontrol the ball was him. Okay, so far, you're surviving the opening salvo. FC United of Manchester, who are actually odds at the start of the season, you know, the only reason why the pundits favoured us was because uh, we are on a streak. Oh my goodness, that ball just went through Odero. Okay, Jasper Singh, you gotta do me proud, man. Thomas to Malcolm, Malcolm drop deep, plays it to Joe Hanks. Oh my goodness, he just went off that play or the, or the ref, I couldn't tell. Could we cover the ball now? Kovica goes up, left, looks for support. He has plenty of support. I don't know what he's doing now. Oh, what a brilliant play from the playmaker. Isaacs, come on. Plays it to Malcolm. Malcolm inside the box. Shoots. What a save. Okay. We are working a bit of the hard spaces, but yeah, this is where I was hoping the AP would pull players away, but he didn't uh, because of the winger. Oh, okay, Damon. Because the winger is... Uh, I don't have people pulling players apart. Uh, playing into the half spaces at the moment. Joe Hanks 
clears Thompson will get this ball and he will he has three options now Ashworth has three options in space Albinson the goalkeeper kicks it long to never long bottom to long bottom not of Hogwarts Maidley to winter okay now I'm thinking of uh, Game of Thrones <laughs> She Odero to Isaacs, back to Joe Hanks. What a way to move the ball to Berkeley. Berkeley looks around, finds Thomas in space on the right flank. That's a good move from him. Thomas will play to Malcolm. Malcolm out wide. Now what can he do? He crosses his in. Oh, oh, that was good play. Good play. All right, I like that. Okay, now we can go to uh, extend the highlights. Gentlemen, I think it's enough. Damon, oh, Damon, Damon, Damon. He did the ball. Just skim the upright. Winter to Brown. Brown plays it and Damon reads that. But they can't control Damon. Don't try too much. The ball gets back to Thompson. Plays it to Winter. Winter has got players around him, but he can't play the pass. Code weaker. Okay, maybe that extra inverted wing back is helping. Sing with the ball. Just piercing. Can you play it short? He can't. Get it to Brown. Thompson goes one way. Okay, we have to do something else. All right. Uh, There's something I needed to do. Okay, close on a bit more. I need to run like... I need to run. Run, Okito, run. Thompson, into space to Madeley. Madeley, oh, he did it. He controlled the ball. Brown with the shot. Goes wide. Okay, Okito. I got great hopes for Okito. Chandler to Winter. Winter's attention on him. Thompson now looks for options. Okay, the boys have gotten back into defense. But, oh, does well. Berkeley with the ball now. Berkeley holds up play. Plays it into space of Kodwika. Kodwika doesn't do much with that ball. <laughs> Passes it and hits a player. Okitu. 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 Kodwika. Hangs. I'm chanting, so you better score, boys. Okay, two, okay, two, okay, two. Kieran Thomas out wide. Cross it now. Into Kot Vika. Kot Vika shoots and is blocked by a player. I love this game. Oh, I love this game. I love it when strange things happen that I don't even expect. Joe Hanks. Okay, just they, if they just had better passing, you know, if they could pass without hitting somebody. <laughs> Albinson with the ball. Alright, not bad. We have one clear cut chance. If I lose this game, at least that won't make me happy. Jake Hall playing 6.7. The boys are playing okay, 6.7, 6.6. The ratings are not bad. Um, Michael Malcolm could be better. Kieran Thomas to Malcolm. Malcolm, yeah, you see? Uh, you just mention it and it happens. To never long bottom from Hogwarts. I'm sorry, Will long bottom from you, Manchester, Berkeley. Back to Kodwika. Kodwika into space. Well, little Isaacs. The kid. He's That was composure all the way. The boy saw the goal in front of him and he just got excited. Yes, man. He wasn't... I don't know whether he got excited or whether he's... Yeah, whatever. Okay, Brown corner. Clear the danger. Thompson again. Come on, boys. They do clear the danger but long bottom gets it to Konash. Konsa. Kwanza. Berkeley is back defending. Isaacs, there's nobody yet in the opponent's half. Okay, that's it. We have to make one small change. Okay, I can't have that. All right, Berkeley, we have decided we need somebody there. So you're going to be an advance forward. Okay, we have to have an outlet. Test them. Berkeley to Brown. Back into Odero. To. They shoot. Okay. We're going to make another change. Yes, I think the other change is coming soon. Yes. All right. Uh, because of the inverted wing back coming here, there's space. I need Isaacs to be on attack duty. That makes sense. Okay, cool. I hope that makes sense to me. Berkeley is here. We'll have to look at the spaces now. Jasper Singh with the kick. Into space it goes. And Berkeley gets up. Yes, because Berkeley is pushing them back now. Okay, welcome. Hall to Isaacs, now to Hanks, into space they try, Kokito comes back, Hanks now, Hanks finds Isaacs, what is Isaacs doing, he gets Malcolm into the box, and Berkeley shoots, Berkeley scores, yes!
<laughs> yes, it worked. Oh, you beauties, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, what a move. Oh, the change worked wonders. Malcolm into the box. He's tackled at the last minute by Berkeley. is the furthest player forward. And he goes in and says, Boss, thank you for telling me not to defend. Yes, Berkeley, you just stay up now. I just remember, this is schoolboy soccer. So, Berkeley, stay right in front. We'll try, try and send you some balls along the way. You don't have to come back and play a part in the whole attacking transition. That wasn't the worst half you've ever seen. Shut up. I hate these commentaries. I've, I things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. As if that's going to make a big difference, but then, heck. You know, they seem to be motivated. Okay, <laughs> what they wrote to Thomas. Thomas, please don't screw things up. You know, in an attacking... Oh, okay, time out. Three, five, two. It means that they're flooding midfield. Okay, this is interesting. I have to be very weary at this point in time. You have to watch this very carefully because I could get in a lot of trouble very quickly because uh, I don't... You notice I don't have people here now? Okay. That's uh, it could be in, we could be in a lot of trouble if we don't defend well. Okay, Chandler. Okay, wild tackle there by Thomas Isaacs to Malcolm. Malcolm looks up. He says, Charles Burke and Berkeley shoots and Berkeley forces a save. Albinson, thank you very much. Now with Berkeley so far further, we have a chance to take three points. Hanks. I'm sorry for rambling on, but. I get more excited watching LLM football than I do sometimes with uh, regular <laughs> football games because you don't know what to expect. There you see what happened. Oh my god, you've got players running all over. They can't even pass the ball without hitting somebody <laughs> along the way. Mr. Long Bottoms. Okay, look at look at uh, Arsenal. I mean Arsenal. Manchester United. Berkeley with the ball now. Berkeley, come on, plays into space for Malcolm. Look at them play now. Malcolm. Oh no. Oh, one small change for Gloucester. Okay, come on, Gloucester. Keep it going. They're playing well now. Now it's only a question of us not screwing things up. Joe hangs with a free kick into the wall. It goes, goes these the three statues they're standing just going like, what? Uh, am I supposed to go after this ball? Oh my god. This is fun. Attacking 352 versus my rather. Weird looking for two, three, one. Greece gets to the ball. Come on, enough jokes, boys. Thank you. Ah, I'm getting a bit stressed. Okay, can we go to our key highlights, please, guys? Can I just can I please watch this in key highlights? This, this is too much. Okay, we'll do it on extended. Okay, for you guys and you guys only. Berkeley, oh, dash with come on, close him down. Doesn't and mm, hit it, Mr. Longbottom. Seriously, you belong at Hogwarts. Okay, winter. Game of Thrones, Jasbir Singh, Jai. <laughs> okay, Thompson, Jasbir Singh, you'll be singing Jai Ho after this. Come on, please. All right, Thompson, please don't put in a dangerous area. And they rise, Joe Hanks, that's the job. Isaacs, can he get to the ball? He can't. Jai Ho. Okay, Jake Hall, he's a uh, 6.5. The reason why Jake Hall is there is because I need him running all over the place. But have you heard me mention his name once? Okay, there he is. Jake Hall to Code Rica. Okay, to back to Code Rica. To the yeah, Joe Hanks. I love it when you guys do this. Okay, to start looking like Barcelona. Cluster. Malcolm Skull. Yes! <laughs> 2 0. I don't believe it. Cluster City are taking a 4 2 3 1 and making it their own. Alright, um, okay. okay, I can't believe this. I didn't expect this to happen. I really expected us to get hammered, smashed, and completely annihilated playing a 4 2 3 1. And trust me, I didn't even want to play an inverted wing back with this system. But they seem to be playing a lot better. Maybe I can take this and put it to the Arsenal system, eh? Torino seems to be needing an advanced forward too. This is the gloss, this is my LLM version of 4 2 3 1. So slightly different. Okay, so Winter now shoots as a goal. I don't believe it. Come on, Jasper Singh. What a goal from Winter. How did I... I think maybe Jasper Singh uh, is not tall enough. Let's see now. Winter, straight up. Yep. Jasper Singh is not tall enough. <laughs> oh, come on. 
boys, don't make me, don't make me sad. He played so well. Joe Hanks passed the ball. Okay, two to Bradley show oh, hits the upright and they force the key. This is getting this is I'm not handling this game very well. Torino's games are much more predictable. Okay, Joe Hanks. Into the end. Damon hits and 3 1. <sighs> okay. Time to have a coke and a smile. Yes. Come on, Gloucester. Come on, yeah. Jai Ho. Huh. He got so many songs with his team. I mean, can you imagine Jazz Beer saying, if he can stay in his team long enough, which I seriously doubt, but hell, you know, it'd be kind of cool. Okay, we got Jai Ho song. We got so many songs with his team. Come on, go, Rika. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, sorry. Enough singing, thinking of the win now. I have to think about defending. <laughs> all right, boys. Okay. Enough of all that. No more. Okay, we still will pass into space, but yeah, I'll stick to the same way I'm playing. Why would I want to change things? Uh, one of the things right now I can do is to work ball into box. No, I don't want to work ball into box. In fact, I don't change it. I don't change anything. I'll do something else. Okay, I'll make a substitution instead. Uh, Joe Hanks is playing well. This guy is playing well. Jake Hall is doing well. His work rate is the reason why he's in the team in the first place. So he's got a 13 and a 12 and a 10 for pace. This guy, no, you're not going to be there. But let's see what would happen in experiment. Eh? Let's see what would happen if I replace Jake Hall with Tom Webb. Will this team suddenly collapse? Because uh, Tom Webb has a lower work rate. But uh, because of the inverted wing back, it's one extra body there. Berkeley to Thomas, Thomas to Kodwika. Kodwika shoots. Uh, it could have been a fourth goal. All right, uh, FC United, Manchester. Uh, we're three one up. Can he score two goals in four minutes? It's possible. It happens in FM. And we now quickly approaching. At that time, Joe Hanks with the ball crosses it in, and. I'm hoping the referee looks at his watch anytime soon, and he should, after this kick is taken. Gloucester City. Thomas to Joe Hanks. The referee is about to blow his whistle. Yes, Isaac plays it back to the keeper. And we've done it. Gloucester City have beaten FC United of Manchester, who were ranked uh, odds 19 uh, to 4. 4 to 19 or whatever, you, however you want to look at it, because I don't gamble. Um, Yes, we beat them. I'm so happy. So this tactic was very, very interesting because it changed and morphed over time. So what I did was um, I knew how to attack them in space. So why? What I was looking at was this winger because he's a winger. He's he's literally going to be for the furthest among all these three guys. So he's bombing out forward, and this guy was I positioned him as an advance forward. So he's the furthest forward he can choose. I mean, among all the the striker tiers, the advance forward is the one that's got the, the furthest of all of them. Okay, so I picked him, and that means he's going to be literally in the defensive line. If he breaks, he breaks for goal. That's good, and he's he's basically told you just stay up there and try and score goals, which is which he managed to do. And Malcolm, we changed that around. We got Kodwika to drop deep, which played a very important role in the transition because now he's dropping deep and he's able to do the diagonal. So we got a few very dangerous diagonals going, which was nice to see. And uh, we we managed to get security for Joe Hanks to play a good game and Kodwika to go play a good game. And we actually ended up playing a bit Guardiola-esque kind of a system where Guardiola's the systems tend to be uh, lopsided in the sense you see a lot of the development of the player on one side of the pitch and then they open a diagonal across the uh, across the, 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 the pitch and uh, we ended up playing something like that but you know, nowhere near as good actually because uh, our past completions were kind of a joke if you remember uh, our players are knocking the ball into each other I am so happy with the way we played uh, I didn't expect it nothing in my head said that we could I mean, there was a slim possibility, but I didn't really expect it. And we stayed on the shouts as well because we explored uh, structured, the structured shape, which is what I kept at. I didn't want to play anything else because I wanted um, us to take advantage of pass into space and roam from positions as an LLM site should. Uh, not, I mean, there's going to be space. If you have space, you can run, you do well. And we actually went and beat FC United away from home 3-1. What a score this was. And um, yeah, we're okay with top of the table. And this is interesting because I'm going to look at my... 
our our league table right now and uh, let's look at the stages and see how we do home and away our home record at the moment is not bad seven wins one draw okay we drew against Bradford Park Avenue away is a different story away we've drawn three times we've drawn to Tamworth we've drawn to Flight and we've drawn to Stanley Bridge and this is the first time we've beaten uh, one of the teams that I would rank uh, so like one of the teams that are top, I would say a top 10 team, top 7 team or something like that. So we managed to beat one of the top 7 teams away. Usually we end up drawing them because I'm such a coward <laughs> when it comes to these things, you know. And please forgive me for sounding overly exuberant just now. <laughs> I do apologize. I, the LLM games do this to me, okay? So you better, you wanted an LLM game, so you be prepared for this to happen because I get really, really uh, absorbed into these games. And it's well, great. Uh, training, we have made one change to our training. Uh, we got in uh, Bradley Isaacs to focus on uh, AMC. So we're going to try and see how we do with a 4 2 3 1 for the next few games. And since I am in this 4 2 3 1 experience with uh, Torino and I started with Arsenal and with Torino, let's carry this experiment on with uh, Gloucester City and see how they do and how long this can last. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Torino Diaries. Of course, I use a lot of these principles and I talk about, they're all in my book, Master Net of Football Managers um, Guide. And uh, I speak about um, the way I set systems up and how I set forwards. Like when I said just now, the advanced forward is the furthest forward. It's in my book as well. So I, I, how I set attacking patterns up. That was one different attacking pattern that I had to set up in the game because I wanted to exploit something in the game. And uh, it worked and I'm glad it worked. And I hope you've enjoyed the show. And if you have any questions, you can always go to www.patron.com slash net if you want to find out more information on how to get the book. If you just want to ask me a question, you can always uh, hunt me down on uh, Twitter. Right, my handle is at net. And if you are the reader, the kind that loves to read, oh, please go down to addicted.fm.com, my website, and see whether there's anything there that might help you. And uh, of course, the 4231, this tactic is also, I've done a short video of it. Um, basically, the fundamentals of the system and how I set it up and why I set it up the way I set it up. That is also there. And you can see how I play a 4231 differently with Torino as well. So, yeah, plenty to chew on. And please forgive me for the way I sounded earlier. It was just too exciting for me. I didn't expect us to win, swear to God. I was thinking I was going to get hammered 5 0. But we managed to beat FC United of Manchester. So, you guys, you have a good one. I'm, gonna, I'm going off to get a beer. Bye bye.